Hello and welcome to our daily reflections. I'm going to continue with a third reflection from this wonderful Teze worship feast. Our theme for today is don't worry, have peace. Easy words to say really I guess at the moment with all that's going on in our communities and in the wider world. So let us begin with a short prayer, let us pray. Father God, we come before you on this beautiful new day. Help us to be mindful of all the things we have to be thankful for. And help us, Lord, to lift to you those things that bring us concern, those things that burden us. May we lay them at the foot of your cross, knowing that your plans are to prosper us and not to harm us. Your joy is to give us peace and to surround us all with your love. May we today be the eyes and the ears and the feet and the hands of Jesus. May we reflect your love in all that we say and all that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to begin our uh, Teze reflection now by listening to that wonderful Teze song, In the Lord I'll be ever thankful, in the Lord I will rejoice. to our reading which is from Philippians 4 verses 4 to 7. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving let your requests be known to God and the peace of God which surpasses all our understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Thanks be to God for his word. We now come to our time that we call something to think about in the silence. 
and that will be uh, myself saying some words followed by a short time of silence and we'll repeat that a few times. I don't know about you but I can't imagine what it would be like not to worry about anything. It seems like an impossible feat and yet this is the instruction from Philippians. Think back to Jesus' teaching, teaching us about worry in the book of Matthew. He tells us that God cares for the lilies of the field and the littlest sparrow. How much more does God care for each one of us? So take a minute right now to think about that one truth. God cares for the tiniest sparrow. How much more must God care for you? What things do you worry about? School, work, money, family issues, relationships, the pandemic. Our minds and hearts are inclined to worry about things that don't matter in the long run. What a wonderful promise we have in this Bible passage. When our worries are submitted to the compassionate and the loving hands of God, we experience the peace of God in our hearts and our minds. Our hearts are guarded and protected by God's peace and our worrying will be no more. So take a few moments to think about what it means to have a peace that guards the heart and the mind. Think about how often we say to one another, oh, don't worry about it, you'll be fine. Do we just respond, okay, you're right, I won't worry about it? Of course not. We say, okay, but then we continue worrying. This scripture says, don't worry in an authoritative way. This is God saying to us, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. I've got it covered. I'm here. Listen to your heart now. And hear God whispering this scripture passage in your heart. Rejoice, my beloved child. Relax. I am right here with you. Don't worry. Just tell me what you need. Rely on me. I will not fail you. I will protect you and fill you with my peace. We're now going to have a short prayer, so let us pray. God of peace and love, take away our worries. Your promise to guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So we open ourselves to your protection. Help us come to know you in such a way that we, are, we will willingly surrender our worries to your loving hands. And may the peace that surpasses all our understanding live in our hearts and our minds. Amen. 
And so to finish, we're going to listen to that wonderful Teze song, Let Your Servant Now Go in Peace. Stay safe and be blessed. <laughs>